Okay, this is uh, my two thruster setup using a servo for steering. What's new is my control box. Um, everything now is self contained. There's a, a 25 amp hour lithium battery in here, uh, all waterproof connections. Uh, these work pretty well. This connection here is to my kill switch, but this is getting replaced with my new um, handheld device controller. I'm using my uh, my old one for the time being. I have a waterproof uh, RJ45 jack. It isn't waterproof at the moment, but the uh, cable that goes to my new control box will have uh, will be all waterproof. And I'll explain that later what waterproof means. Basically, these things can sit under a meter of water for about 30 minutes. Using a Pelican 1300 case. Very nice box. I really like it. <coughs> now here comes the ugly part. To open this thing up. see what's inside. It looked real nice until I started wiring it. <laughs> That's always the truth. Well, let's pop this lid up. And this mass of wires is what controls everything. This is my uh, 25 amp hour lithium battery. And I just got it bracketed in here, won't go anywhere. Uh, down in here is a kill switch, which I operate currently off this kill box, I call it. Um, this uh, RJ45 cable is what connects to the outside world. That's where all my controls come from. All standard RC signals. I've got a little five, uh, 12 to 5 volt power supply to run most of those electronics. And then this big, huge bus bar thing is what controls my uh, ESCs. Two of them, obviously, one for each motor. And some nice enclosures uh, that were 3D printed for me. I've got about three layers of fusing in here, so if any one part of the uh, circuitry has a problem, uh, it'll isolate it. You'll notice there's three jumpers here. Uh, these are getting replaced shortly. I have uh, three Hall Effect current sensors, and they're going to go in there and the, um, measure the current of the individual thrusters and total current. So I should have that. I'll put together in a week or so. I need to get this thing on the water and try it out. So, so far so good. My uh, main disconnect when I want to turn off all my power is basically just uh, undoing this power pull plug. Um, and currently now the only current being drawn is the current to flash that LED which says I'm in the off mode. Trying to tuck all these wires back in here is always problematic, but I'm working on that. So it works. Uh, power is now on. That tells me my power is on. I can control my thrust direction. Uh, currently, I have a, a pot. A control for each motor. Forward and reverse. But you can't see a thing. Oh, uh, there's one other connection to this box. This here goes to my uh, fish finder. So that's just 12 volts. That's pretty much it. I'm pretty happy with it.